They're sad scenes we've become all too familiar with. And there's plenty in the news these days about cleaning up all that trash out in the ocean. But the sea bin is different. It's meant for inlets, coastal waterways like harbors, ports, and marinas. The two here at Cabrillo Isle Marina were the first sea bins in the United States. We can stop the plastics close to the source of entry, and we can stop the plastics from getting to the ocean. So that was one of the main goals, was to get it before it gets to the ocean. As a lifelong surfer, Pete Zaglinski spends a lot of time in the water. Several years ago, he and a friend got the idea of a trash collecting device that would clean the relatively still waters of ports, marinas, and harbors. Now there are about 720 sea bins in more than 40 countries around the world. Between the 720 units, every day we're collecting around 2.2 tons of litter and you know if you times that by uh, 365 it starts to really add up. The sea bin works just like the filter in a swimming pool. The container that sits in that metal casing has a natural fiber bag in it. It sucks in water and debris, captures it, then flushes the clean water out the bottom. It's emptied once or twice a day. A lot of small plastics, microplastics, uh, the biggest stuff. And the sea bin is remarkably efficient at capturing oil. It sticks to that white disc you see floating in the basket. We're proud to have them here, We're proud that our it keeps our water clean and our members appreciate it. Cabrillo Isle Marina General Manager Debbie Davis says before they got their two sea bins, the water was constantly filled with oil and other muck. Now, she says, you can see the rocks below the surface. Each sea bin costs about $5,000, and there will soon be more of them in California. Siglinski is about to take a road trip, bringing sea bins to harbors in L.A., Ventura, and San Francisco. Then he'll set off for Hawaii, where he'll install several sea bins in the coastal waters of Honolulu. A simple idea making a big difference. John Carroll, KPBS News.